Folks, welcome home. Another issue of Flash in the Pan. Here we are at the magnificent Shakers in Milwaukee, Wisconsin. And I am going to do a really quick little soup today. This is a Vichy Soie. Sounds intimidating, right? Vichy Soie is very simply, it's a French leek and potato soup. So I stopped at the uh, West Dallas Farmer's Market today and I scored these beautiful, these are Yukon Golds. If you want to use russets, by all means do that. The leek, of course, fresh the season, just a little smudge of garlic here. This is a real simple, real fast little thing. So I'm just gonna take ourselves a little bit of garlic here, just give a little, little cutty cut to it. It's gonna go right in here in our pan. So flame on. Magic of television will flame on this burner instead. Gonna take our leek, and now I like to use the entire leek for all sorts of things. But this is one dish in particular that you only use the white portion and the very light green portion towards the bottom of the stem. Because leek it grows in a very sandy soil, you gotta make sure that you give this a real good rinse as well. So I'm gonna cut this down. We've got this just like a, you know, a little julienne or batons at the moment. It's really not gonna matter though because we literally are going to mulch this all. So if you wanna do this as batons, it's cool. If you wanna cut it this way, it really doesn't matter. The point is we're just gonna process it down. Now because this grows in a sandy soil, we're gonna take this into a strainer in a moment and uh, make sure we get any of that little sandiness that uh, like this you can see right now just came out of this little sandiness from the dirt. Again, these were harvested this morning at the West Dallas Farmer's Market. So obviously you're calling from somewhere else in the world and uh, you don't have a West Dallas Farmer's Market. Chances are you do have a, a, a local farm operation or some such thing that you can go and source this from. So I'm just gonna take this here Put this in our strainer, a little basket strainer here. Get a little bath, and while that's taking place, I'm gonna take these uh, lovely Yukons. And again, they're gonna be processed down, so this is a really nice homogenous blend. Vicious Wall is considered one of those standout soups, I mean, in, in the all-time lexicon of soups, in the culinary world, Vichy Soie stands above many. It's just, it's incredibly simple to make, has great dense flavors to it. Um, this is not a soup for those that can't do lactose though, because there is heavy cream in this. This is one, however, that is gluten-free. So we got this little part of this little potato right here. We're just gonna cut that out. So use the rest of the potato. So this is the first course in our meal on Saturday, which will be on the rooftop above Shakers. It's the final rooftop dinner event of the season because we are in the middle portion of September. And obviously this is the great north and things will be changing for us in a short period of time. This is served mostly as a cold soup. If you wanted this as a warm soup, you can certainly do that as well. We're just gonna kick this into our pan right now. So, we're not really necessarily big on quantities here, but I guess this is about a little more than a pound and a half of potatoes. And we're not gonna use any oil on this. Instead, I'm just very French. I'm just gonna use some butter. So this is fine Wisconsin grade AA butter. It's unsalted. And if you're cooking or baking, you probably want to use an unsalted butter. So we're just gonna get some flavor going on this right now. We're gonna have great expectations. This is going to really cook too much because there's no liquid except for right here. So this morning I also grabbed an organic chicken and I just put that on to boil. We just made a real simple stock out of that. I've got some celery in here. Now, I did not do a mid I do have celery and I've got the, uh, the butt ends of onion, but I don't have carrot because carrot just doesn't belong in this dish, though it does belong in most French cookery. So we just got this guy going right now, which is gonna do its little thing for a moment or two. Boil, boil away. While that's happening, we're gonna go back to our leek over here, which has been rinsing. So like usual, it's unfortunate you don't have smell-o-vision because the smell's already just coming off this lovely fresh leek. The leek is very subtle compared to the rest of the onion family. It does have its own little scent going on. And that is 
dynamic. There is a really good synergy between onions and potatoes. Think about hash browns, think about any number of things, lionese, any dishes that you want to make. It, they really work well together and bring out so many natural flavors. Leek is exquisite because it is a subtly, generally a subtly flavored onion. It adds so much body without you even realizing necessarily that there is onion there. So this is going to cook for just a couple of minutes together. And then at that point, we're going to, once it starts to get softened, we are going to put this inside of our blender. If you had a pressure cook, you can get this whole thing done in probably seven minutes, 10 minutes tops. So we're going to let that go for a minute and we're going to come right back to you. And at which time we're going to put this in the blender and we're going to move this ahead and then it's going to be done. Come right back. Thanks. All right. So now guys, we've had this on for a couple of minutes. And you can see that we're nice, oh, beautiful, nice texture, nice and soft here. Great. So, off heat for a moment. Going to take our beautiful blender here. Again, I'm not paid by Vitamix, but this is the best damn blender made. Vichyssois, typically a cold soup. You say, good dear God, Bob, look how hot that is. How is that a cold soup? Well. We're cooking it and then we're going to chill it. So we're going to put some cream in here. Now keep in mind when you do this that there will be some thermal expansion because this is really hot. So you're not going to fill it as full as you could. Smell like cream. Mmm, beautiful cream based. A little salt and pepper. If you want to use white pepper by all means feel free. Does not at all. Those beautiful subtle flavors as they work together between the leek, so that oniony component and the uh, the potato, it's just going to be just a dynamic little thing. And we don't want to over blend it at this point. I'm just going to pull this guy off of here, and what I'm going to do is just put this in a bowl for a moment so I can batch that blender. It's far better to do two small batches than to try to overwork your blender and have yourself a mess. So again, in theory, this beautiful rich thing is really close to just being done. Now at that point we get primarily the solids. We're going to get our liquids in here now as well. So that beautiful chicken stock. And again, all we did was we took a chicken in the pot. That's all it was and put some celery in there and some onion uh, in there as well. And uh, again, we did not, in a typical minipois, you would have equal parts of carrot, but we did not put carrot in because you don't want to draw it sweeter than these potatoes are already going to be. All right. Now to garnish this, you can either use like, you can take some of that leek and you can put little fine shavings like a chiffonade on top of there. You could use a little bit of dill. Uh, this is dense enough, it's gonna support things, so you can put a little caviar on there as well, which is what we're gonna do for the Saturday dinner on our rooftop at Shakers. But here we have Vichy Soie. Hot Vichy Soie. I'm gonna chill this guy down and uh, serve this in a chilled container. It's just gonna literally go into a, into a little whiskey glass right here, and that will be our presentation on Saturday for the final dinner event of the season on our rooftop, the magnificent rooftop above Shakers. Come out to be something just like this. Let's uh, clean this guy up a little bit. And you notice that after it cools, it will thicken. So that is your opportunity to uh, bring a little more hydration to here, a little more milk or something of that nature. Heavy cream is my choice. But either way, it's still going to be thick enough that you can take some caviar. This is a real simple little red lumpish here. And just like festoon that right on the side. That is our presentation of Vichy Soie. That will be for this marvelous dinner at Shakers on Saturday. It's the Autumnal Equinox dinner. Look forward to seeing you guys there. Any questions, just send me an email. It's important to cook for the people that you love and you care about. It's so easy to do. Literally, our entire prep time was less than 10 minutes. 
Um, if you're using a pressure cooker, it'll melt those potatoes down in no time. You do it this way, it takes a little longer for the potatoes to cook while you're doing something else. Enjoy, folks. Thank you very much. Thanks for watching. Cheers.